Tesla's cobalt-free efforts are being closely watched by LG Chem, Samsung ahead of battery day, and Japan's battery startups take the world beyond lithium-ion, and their new products can pack up to 10 times more energy than their powerful forebearers. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and like this video to show your appreciation uh, of our friends who helped me to bring these reports to you. This script is based by Simon Alvarez of Tesla Rati, and from Nikkei's World Review. It appears that it is not only the electric vehicle community that is eagerly anticipating Tesla's upcoming Battery Day event. Considering the company's place in the EV movement as well as its efforts in pursuing a cobalt-free solution for electric car batteries, industry leaders like Samsung and LG Chem are reportedly watching Tesla and its battery announcements closely. And of course they would, right? Battery Day has been mentioned by Elon Musk multiple times in the past and last month the company Tesla noted that the highly anticipated Tesla Battery Day event will be held on September 22nd. The CEO has informed analysts that Battery Day will include a big reveal of developments in Tesla's battery efforts. The, effort, the effects of such developments on the battery supply chain are also expected to be discussed discussed. Tesla has kept details of the battery day secret, though industry officials have noted that details on new cobalt-free batteries will be revealed at the upcoming event. Tesla has been working on reducing its batteries' cobalt content for years, as evidenced by a study from a German firm that determines the Model 3 batteries have 75% less cobalt than the cells used by companies like Volkswagen. In the second Second quarter earnings call, Elon Musk noted that eventually cobalt will be phased out completely. And this is a very good news because uh, mining cobalt comes with many questionable uh, practices. And it's good that Tesla wants to phase out cobalt completely from its batteries. That being said, LG Chem has stated that it still believes that NMC chemistry, battery chemistry, will remain the mainstream in the global market due to its energy density advantages. Well, maybe for a little while, but not forever. Though we are, um, here's, here's what LG Chem said. Though we are producing LFP batteries too, these have their shortcomings in energy density and weight. We believe NN NCM will, battery chemistry will remain the mainstream in the global electric vehicle battery market, the company stated during its second quarter conference call. Samsung SDI was on the same page, stating that it will be focusing on NCA technology, citing an industry official who requested anonymity. The Korea Times noted that, the, that Samsung is paying close attention to what Tesla will be announcing and unveiling on battery day. Many battery firms have tried to upgrade the energy density of LFP chemistry, but they have yet to have many meaningful outcomes. Tesla is now saying it is increasing its reliance on LFP batteries and is anticipated to come up with information on new cobalt-free batteries during battery day. This can either mean that Tesla and Cattle have come up with technology to improve the efficiency of LFP batteries or unprecedented technology in removing cobalt, he said. Since either way will likely affect the industry trend, domestic companies are paying attention to what what Tesla will reveal during the event, the industry insider stated. And different industries closely watching their competitors is a common practice, friends. Tesla's Battery Day event is expected to be held on September 22nd of this year. A live audience is expected to be present, though the event will also be live streamed. And Tesla also said that it will give tour of its Cato Road uh, battery um, uh, manufacturing facility. Just outside of the Fremont factory. Elsewhere in Asia, 
Ten Umekumi writes in Nikkei Asian Review that Japan's battery startups take the world beyond lithium-ion. He said new products, meaning new batteries, can pack up to 10 times more energy than their powerful forebearers. Now, for this reason, I think Tesla, LG Chem, and, uh, and Panasonic and others need to take a look at these um, startups in Japan. So startups in Japan are battling to create high-performance power packs that could become the next global standard. In the port city of Yokohama, a company's phone never stops rising. Can we test the performance? We want to form a partnership. On the other end of the line are US and European car and drone makers. They seek to try out new batteries or to collaborate with 3DOM, a startup that emerged out of Tokyo Metropolitan University in 2014. In the beginning, it was a one-man show. Kiyoshi Kanamura, a professor at the university, was 3DOM's loan engineer. Since then, engineers from major appliance companies such as Panasonic and car makers have gathered under him, lured by the promise of pursuing new activities. Now. There are about 70 engineer colleagues, half of whom joined during the past year. Rechargeable batteries are a strong suite for corporate Japan, but the industry that produces them has come up against tenacious Chinese and South Korean competitors in recent years. Now, Japan's hopes to remain among the global heavyweights in a market expected to be worth more than 2.7 trillion yen, which is $25 billion by 2035, rests on the ability of its engineers. 3DOME aims to commercialize a lithium metal battery by 2022. The startup says its battery can produce twice the amount of energy than a Li-IM power uh, source of similar weight and its performance has already been demonstrated. Furthermore, the company says its battery can greatly extend the per charge mileage of an electric vehicle. The manufacturer hopes its products will one day power flying cars. While carbon materials are currently used for the negative electrodes of most lithium-ion batteries, 3DOM uses lithium metal, which has the advantage of easily increasing a battery's capacity to store electricity but is prone to short-circuiting uh, and igniting. The ignition uh, is caused by a phenomenon in which branch-shaped uh, brand crystal grow on the surface of the negative electrode due to an uneven chemical reaction. The company developed a separator that controls the phenomenon known as dendrite. The separator has spherical holes several hundred nanometers. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter in diameter that are arranged in perfect order. The uniform sized and orderly positions of the holes allow a uniform flow of ions and uniform chemical reaction. The separator is made of polymide, a highly heat-resistant plastic that will not burn even at 400 degrees Celsius. 3DOM currently produces lithium-ion batteries in a suburb of Seattle and plans to build another factory in the United States, possibly next year, in preparation for production of its next-generation battery. With electric vehicles and drones coming into wider use, the market for lithium-ion batteries is swelling and manufacturers are stepping up efforts to develop next-generation technologies that will allow for larger capacity, safer and longer operating batteries. Researcher Fuji Keizai expects that global market for next-generation batteries to be worth 4.2 billion yen this year, but 2.7 trillion yen by 2035. China's contemporary Amperex technology, better known as Cattle, is the world's largest automotive battery maker. Panasonic is number two and South Korea's LG Chem, a big supplier to European automakers, is number three. All three are working hard to develop next generation power sources. The most promising energy pack for tomorrow could be an all-solid state battery which can be made more compact than today's batteries. It can also be rapidly charged. Toyota Motor and Panasonic, which operates battery facilities with Tesla, are developing the technology. Meanwhile, 
Azul Energy, a startup in Sendai, focuses not on a complete battery, but on materials that determine performance. Isn't it interesting to use this pigment as a catalyst? Hiroshi Yabu, an associate professor at Tohoku University who specializes in material science, was inspired by a comment made by his student a few years ago. Yabu believes a possibility ex uh, existed, although there were hardly any cases in which a pigment was used as a catalyst for batteries. Yabu focused on a metal air battery that uses the oxygen in the air as the reaction material for the positive electrode and a metal as the reaction material for the negative electrode. Metal air batteries can store and discharge 3 to 10 times as much electricity as lithium ion batteries. They are thought of as the ultimate battery. However, metal air batteries can put out only a small amount of electric current, making them unsuitable for use in electric vehicles despite their excellent charge discharge properties. At present, hearing aids account for 90% of these batteries applications. When Yabu used a ferrous pigment as a catalyst for the electrode in place of conventional manganese, the amount of electric current obtained at the same at the time increased by 20 to 30 percent. He is aiming to further increase the capacity so the batteries can be used in drones. Azul plans to use the catalyst to join develop a metal air product with a battery maker. I don't know if Tesla will benefit from this or maybe form a partnership with 3DO, 3DOME or uh, Azul. Azul welcomed Koju Ito, an engineer from Fujifilm, uh, as president and founding member. It was hesitant when when, uh, Ito was hesitant when invited by Yabu but decided to accept the offer as he wanted to venture into a new field that is difficult to tackle at a big company. AC Biot, a startup in Kyoto, has developed a battery that charges and discharges in alternative current instead of direct current. Called the AC battery, it lasts 30% longer per charge than lithium-ion batteries of similar size, the company says. In 2019, AC Biot received an investment from Inno Energy, a Dutch entity creating, uh, created by an organiza organization of the European Union, which provides financial assistance to innovative energy research projects. Another one is Connect Systems, a startup in Seika, Kyoto Prefecture, is developing the shuttle battery which produces electricity by mixing hydrogen with oxygen. The battery produces hydrogen from iron powder and water, then supplies it to a fuel cell. Corporate Japan used to control the market for lithium-ion batteries, but in recent years has been outperformed by rivals in China and South Korea. No, man, no wonder Chinese and South Korean companies are closely working with Tesla and, uh, of course, Panasonic is working with Tesla too. However, the country, Japan, maintains advantages in main components and materials. Ashaikaze and Torai Industries have a combined market share of about 30% for separators. For positive electrode materials, Sumutumo Metal Mining retains strength as well. All those startups have opportunities, startup battery makers have opportunities, it will not be easy for them to break into the automotive battery market, tangled as it is by strong relationships between major battery makers and automakers. To survive the competition, said Tang Jin, a senior research officer at Mushu Bank, who keeps tab tabs on the battery market, they will need to quickly expand production in cooperation with major battery markets and clients. Will these companies join with Tesla, Volkswagen, or other companies, uh, car makers, or Mercedes? We don't know. Or maybe Ultium Battery or LG Chem. We don't know. But the time will show. Let's look forward to the Tesla Battery Day, friends, which is coming on September 22, and see what Tesla say and how the industry will rapidly change after that. Have a wonderful rest of the day. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and like this video to show your appreciation of the people I mentioned who helped me to bring this story to you. God bless you. Take good care of each other and see you soon in our next report.